Hi, hi, and welcome back to Golden Sun Blind. I'm your host, Uber, and let's get started. So last time we came out of the desert, and we should be going to this town, so I'm gonna go here. Calais. Oh, this is where they wanted to go. That's right. Lord Hammett, the founder of Calais, is a great merchant. Yeah. This is where I've been wanting to go. The bridge to the north was destroyed by lava. Thankfully, it has been rebuilt since then. Oh, that's good. Sorry, I didn't mean to push you. Lord Hammond's knack for business is the reason Calais has force. So I'm assuming... Calais is a great crossroads and lies east to Tolby to the west. This is the perfect place to do business. This is the end our tourists on their way to see Colosso. It seems like a lot of hassle to travel to Toby just for a carnival. I heard a rumor that there is trouble in... Yes, there is. It's very hot there. Um, we were in quite a bit of pain. Hmm. No one is allowed to go to Vault even though the bridge has been rebuilt. But I doubt it's because of the eruption of Mount Ayla. How did you know? You're crazy. Shh, he's a crazy man. Cause they built the bridge? I hasn't been saying anything to the north. Okay. Hello, lady. Yes. Where could he be now? Are they gonna ask us to save him or not? I'm wondering. Oh, here we go. This is Lord Hammett's palace. The Lord is away. Please be gone. We will happily welcome visitors once Lord Hammett has returned. Oh, here we go. Leave this to me. It is I. Please permit me to see Lady Liana. Liana? That sounds better. Don't you recognize me? I am Ivan, servant of Lord Hammond. I... I don't recognize you. You're so tan. But it really is you, Ivan. <laughs> oh, it's Ivan. You've grown so much in such a short time. Ivan! Have I really changed that much? I don't think so. I don't know what they're talking about. You probably wouldn't know. You only met- <laughs> Okay. Be a dick about it, why don't you? That doesn't matter. What's important is that the thieves free you. What the hell? Please tell us, will Lord Hammond be freed soon too? Freed? Lord Hammond is a prisoner? Y you haven't heard? I can see we'll- I can see we'll need to fill you in on everything. This is a private matter. Will your friends please leave? Uh, yeah, I guess. No, Isaac, there are no secrets between us. Okay. Jeez. Very well, then. Why were you not with Lord Hammond? I remained in vault to look for his stolen rod. Stolen? Someone stole his rod? <laughs> <laughs> yes, someone stole his rod. <laughs> yes, the shaman's rod, but I was able to recover it. Then Lord Hammond must still be imprisoned in Lumpa. I must report this to Lady Liana. Ivan, come see Lady Liana with me. You can explain it all to her. Isaac, you saw Lord Hammett heading north, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I remember that. That must have been when Lord Hammett was went toward Lumpa. Lady Liana will surely be glad to hear your tale. Please come with me and tell her the full story. Oh god, here we go. A whole episode of dialogue. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. I'm ready to be bored out of my mind. Good, they can do it all themselves without having to make me read everything. Because <laughs> dialogue drives me insane. <laughs> When I heard that you were back, Ivan, I had dared to hope the Lord Hammond had returned with you. We thought Lord Hammond had been released from Lampatu. 
We sent the ransom money they demanded, so he should return soon, right? What's been happening in Lumpa these days? The leadership in Lumpa passed from its, found its founder, Lumpa the Noble Thief, to his son, Dampa, and then to Lumpa's grandson. Though Dampa is, is a very evil man, his father, Dampa, is heartbroken at the state of Lumpa now. When did you send the ransom money? Let's see, first the volcano erupted. And the ransom note came right after the eruption. We rushed the money to them right away, I remember it well. It's been quite a while since the eruption. Oh, you don't think? Ugh. Is it possible they have no intention of No shit. Yes, that's, that's what I was just saying, that they have no intention of letting him go. You think so too, Isaac? Are you saying the Rampa won't release Hammond? I agree with Ivan. If they were going to release him, they'd have done it by now. I'm s I'm sorry, Lady Leana, but I think Ivan might be right. I can't do her higher voice lately. It makes my head hurt. I don't know why. What should we do? How can we rescue Hammond? What what if something has happened to him? Let us handle this. My lady, this is exactly what the soldiers of Calais are here for. Yes, Lady Leanna, please let us handle this. Command us to attack, and we shall! I cannot do that, not without thinking it over carefully. How can we guarantee him its safety if we send soldiers to attack? I cannot do it. I cannot put him its life at risk. Can't we do something to help? Yeah. Oh, well, it's about time you started agreeing. What? 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 Garrett. Garrett, please. Please. Please, Garrett. Stop. What are you two talking about? Garrett thinks that we can help. It is too dangerous. If you fail, your lives will be in danger too. Besides, don't you have your own quest to pursue? Well, we do, but we want to help you either way. I thought so. I knew there had to be a reason Ivan had stayed with you. Instead of returning home directly from Vault. Then what will happen to Lord Hammond? Hammond is a good hostage for them. They will not kill him. We shall wait for another message from Lampa. Don't do that, that's stupid. Lady Liana, I cannot leave like this. It will be fine, Ivan. Hammond would not want to distract you from... I apologize. I ha I have said more than I should. It sounds like Hammond knows about our mission, doesn't it? I suppose I can keep it a secret no longer. Farewell, I shall tell you. He swore an oath to a Jupiter Adept. A Jupiter Adept? Have you heard of a village called Vale? Yes, we have. Are you are from Vale? Really? Then the prophecy was true. What prophecy? Three years after the terrible storm that struck only Mount Aleph, Ivan must depart on a journey with warriors from Vale. So it was foretold. I've heard nothing of any such prophecy. It happened several years before Hammett founded Calais. He was off traveling. Hammett felt he had reached an impasse as a merchant then. He risked his life on a journey to find a new source of business. He was in mortal danger at the southwestern edge of the world when some adepts appeared and saved his life. 
he had lost consciousness. When he awoke, he found himself in the village. Just a moment, am I from that village? Yes, the adept gave him the shaman's rod and you, along with some doubloons. What? They just sold off a baby? What is this? Her child or... Oh, dude, this is getting crazy. Doubloons? Were they golden doubloons? No, they were silver. Yes, let's see, you are called... I am Mia, Lady Liam. It was a lot of gold, Mia, but he also received some business advice. Business advice? Hammett, the greatest merchant ever known? Yes, Garrett, Hammett has the adept to thank for his success. Wow, I've never heard anything like that. He was advised to buy silk in Xi'an and sell it in Tobe. To see anything sell so well, it's like a dream come true. There's no denying that was when Hammett picked up his neck for business. Did he have to promise them anything in return? Ah, yes, Ivan, it is something you will need on your journey. Something we'll need on our journey. The adept asked Hammond to use the shaman's rod. Wait, the adept asked Hammond to use the shaman's rod to obtain it. He looked for this object wherever he went, but he could never find it. Then three years ago, a storm struck, one that hit Mount only Mount Aleph. Ah, uh, they know all about that. Hammond was worried that time was running out. But he had managed to unearth a clue just in time. That, Ivan, is why he took you with the caravan on his last journey north. I had no idea, so that must be why he left the rod in my care, but then... No, Ivan, you mustn't blame yourself. It was my carelessness that caused the rod to be stolen, and ultimately, that's why Lord Hammond is being held in one pile. You must continue your journey and complete your quest. You can't blame yourself. But what will happen to Hammond? I will handle this. And don't forget the soldiers of clay! Continue on your journey and do not worry about Hammond. I'm sorry, I cannot tell you more about the shaman's rod. No, don't apologize. The shaman's rod will help us find that thing we need for our quest, right? Will you look for it? Yeah, I guess. If Isaac says we will, then there's nothing to worry about. Very well, take care of yourselves. Return to your post, everyone. Don Pa is a very shrewd man. He may have sent spies into Kalei. We can't risk sending our soldiers yet. Mm. Then why don't we go and handle it for you? We'd be happy to. I don't know why you think we wouldn't want to. Is there anything else around in this area? Nope, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that either. I keep clicking A twice and I don't need to. Liana is putting up a strong front whenever people are around. It's so hard to see her like this. Hmm. I feel sorry for her. Merchants are supposed to be protected under the laws of Angara. But Ampa must truly really be evil to break such a law. It's clear he doesn't give a crap. Has the legacy of Lord Hammond's sub trading come to an end? No. You're right, I never should have said that. I feel terrible. Aww. <laughs> oh. Don't beat yourself over it, man. Beat yourself up over it, man. There's a turban. Okay. Yeah, your treasure chest. Water jacket. Okay. That's probably helpful for 
Maybe Mia? Maybe someone else? I don't know. I have no idea. What's in here? Where's... Okay. Hmm. Excuse me. You didn't find anything. I got a note. Whoops. Nope, stop. Stop. Oh, it's a lady. Yes. That's so otherwise land on the own. Aww. They worry about their lady and their lord. That's so nice of them. They're so sweet. What is... Stop. Stop. Okay. So it looks like there's a way down there. Side of the palace. The thing. I don't know. It doesn't look like there's a lot to explore around here. Try to hear the righteous thieves a long time. Aww. Oh my. Bad, bad boy. Bad, bad, boy. Oh, there's a nut. I want that nut. Um, the energy. Gotcha. Yay. I believe I went in everywhere that I could. Now, oh, what's up? Peek in on this guy. Hey, what's going on, dude? <laughs> what up? People say Lord Hammond went north from Fall after Mount Aleph erupted, but no one knows what happened to him or his caravan after that. I can't put the rumors about Lord Hammond being captured by thieves out of my head, but the Lord's wife, Leona, speaks little of it. Well, he was, but we're not supposed to talk about that. This is a secret. Hush, hush. What is that? 12? Yeah. It's like 12 coins per person, I believe. Thanks, man. Um, I don't think there's much, not a lot. I don't think there's anything else really to look at besides armor and weapons and stuff. Do you have any artifacts? No artifacts? What about the weapons guy? Does the weapons guy have any artifacts? A connoisseur! A bandit sword, magic rod, witch's wand, and a frost wand. Ooh, that's expensive. Are they both be good with it? Let's see, so that's 190. Or I'm sorry, it goes from 95 to 119. That is 24, I believe. And that is only 10. I think that's right. Let's see. Yes, I'm doing quick calculator work. Shh, be quiet. Um, I guess I could give that to... Ivan. Sure. No, I don't want to get rid of that just yet. Six, six, five. five. Okay. Unleashes Merc. What? Seventy-one. So that's not as good. I think they had the witches' ones before, so that's not as good either. Bandit sword's not as good either. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, 
I think things about good right now, so I think I'm going to spend some time looking at things and then when we come back next time we'll be on the world map again and we'll see maybe if we can help Master Hammond since he hasn't returned yet. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you watch more of my videos in the future. Thanks for stopping by. Bye bye.